I do it intentionally, sometimes it, it makes, I won't say easier, I feel more comfortable doing it, but it has a purpose. Uh, I, you know, if, you, if you're talking to some 70 year old, you can relate back to something about your father. And I don't know, I hope that what you're saying about your father is so positive that the person mm -hmm. feel like I could be that too, or I was that too, or I then would be that. And um, uh, I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but I, I use stories to what I think humanize it a little bit as well. And uh, we, we joke, I, I sit around with my cabinet members and I say, once in a while and I say, I shouldn't say it anymore, but, oh, and Debbie's heard this story 10 times, but let me tell you what it was like when I was in the Air Force. And they get tired of hearing it, maybe. On the other hand, mm -hmm. I do what I need to do when I need to do it. Tony Dotson was here the other day. Uh, she's going to be assigned to this office, as I go, she'll be. Mm -hmm. And um, she's an Air Force officer. And um, I was telling her my experience in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. And it just, Flowed. It was wonderful, and I talked about my career, how I built my career on it. And I, I must admit, it would be great to have been in front of a thousand people to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, did that, did that, back to your question, you know, legitimize it? Um, I, I felt like it was personalized; people could relate to what I said, but at the same time, it added substance to, to it. So, it's a good question. I, I'm not sure. I, do, I, I, I might overdo it sometime. But I'll tell you what I would, I'm going to do at my graduation speech again this year. I'm going to talk about the demographics of the college, and I'm going to talk about the importance of the number of people graduating. And I would say, let's just, just find three stories. Uh, and I, I've yet to ask faculty staff, by the way, I'm running out of time. And usually, you know, 10 or so people write something. Susie Jones had a tough time, you know. Ran with a bad crowd, went to jail, and had six kids, and she's a drug addict, she's recovered, and she's going to be a nurse. I like those stories. I know that's a little dramatic, but not un unusual. Uh, just, I like to humanize it. I, and you, you're always um, aware that there'll be people in the audience that totally surprised, to, be totally surprised to you that they relate to that particular story. Mm -hmm.